Hi. Lee here. And, um... I thought I'd completely try something new on, on like, a video-wise. And that's actually trying to do a story time video. Now, this is my first attempt at trying one, so... The way I explain things might be bad. But, uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it the best try I could. It's about how I basically go into acting at a younger age. Now, it, um... It started off at school in um Ponty High and um there's this girl in my class uh she was a nice girl and obviously she was in acting at the time and cuz I cuz I like enjoyed acting myself like I wanted to get into it obviously then she told me about um what to get into it and stuff so basically I got through an agency and all that I met I met with the agency and then I had my professional photos taken to get into a thing called Spotlight and Spotlight is I don't know why that happened uh, Spotlight is uh, a professional thing where you can get yourself more noticed to different companies that are offering to take you on into into um, taking all this stuff and um, yeah basically it all happened there, and told my mother about it, and then we went to, yeah, was, I was actually, uh, travelled to Swansea, and, um, that, that's how we basically did this stuff, and then, um, it actually did pretty well as my first job, uh, my first, uh, my first, uh, like, filming was called the Da Vinci Code, I think, I think it was the Da Vinci Code. I was the first thing I did, and then I then after I finished that, you know, uh, it took a couple of days for me to to like, get into stuff. As I can, I can all see, I was like a, I was like an essentially like a homeless boy, I think, like an urchin or something. I don't know, if, I don't know if that's what they say, like like urchin boys, or I don't know how to fully explain it. But uh, yeah, and the. The next one I think was the biggest thing for me personally is uh is a, the movie called Pride. Uh, I never thought I'd ever go into movies that that age because I basically got into acting when I was about twelve. So because I'm almost twenty now, so that's about almost eight years ago. But I think I kind of ruined it up a little bit because of my tattoo that I, that I got on my hand, and don't really don't don't. don't off, they don't take you on if you have a tattoo hand. I should have known that, but I really like that having a hand tattoo, so. Yeah, and then there was Pride, and then the one thing that was local for me was, was Stella, because I actually I actually watched that when I was younger, and I really enjoyed doing it. So then I went up to, you know, just do what they do all the time with um, auditions and all that type of stuff. <coughs> it's basically, you can go back and then you get auditioned and then you get called back and then uh, if if you did pretty well they like take you on but sometimes I would have to travel up to London uh, in order to get my you know auditions done because most things up London was professional wise and because obviously with things like Cardiff and all that um, you get good opportunities but London is the main heart heart of everything because you know you're in a big city and you do all that type of stuff and then uh, yeah and then when in order for me to get more of the skills that I needed for acting I needed to do stage school uh, it's about 20 minutes away from me uh, be there every Saturday you start off with vocalizing uh, some like uh, you know, Voices for you in order to sing, uh, improv games to just overall get get you into the gist of things. You know, doing types of warm ups and all that stuff. And then, and then most times you would be practicing for shows. So you would do like a like a show. I did Greece. I did, and I was um one of the the the, the um the boys in the black courts and all that kind. Of. I can't remember now, and that's just basically how I mostly go into acting. Uh, there's, there's more other stuff I did, so 
if I could do the count in my head, it was the Da Vinci Code. I think it's Da Vinci Code. No, Da Vinci's Demons, not Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci's Demons, uh, Stella. Then it was Pride. And then I think it was a co op advert, after, I think, after it. Like, because everyone in school basically knew I was in the co op advert and they basically just get up all the time and the teachers would, um, <laughs> Uh, they just get up and say, "Oh, uh, really? You've been on? You've been in this? You've been in that?" And then it's just been embarrassing. Basically, it all went, it all went up to college. Um, I did a court thing. I did more Stella. Um, I done Doctor Who. And then the biggest, the biggest thing for me, I think, would have to be Casualty, because that's the the last one I did, and I had really, I had really had fun doing that. I had like two days worth of it. And then um, there would be a part where I would actually be the one, the wounded one, and not be like a family member, you know, because basically being being one of those people wounded in casualty, you know, with a serious injury, is pretty fun. And um, yeah, two days worth of it. It was it was, it was so fun, so fun. Uh, I just couldn't explain. The directors were so nice, and. Um, yeah, the basically the scene I would do is that I would be on a bike because I just done mostly bike stuff in my life really, you know, just ride a bike. And um, oh, and the other thing I did was an Aldi advert. It was like a Christmas one. But uh, carrying on with the scene I did, um, basically I would be riding a bike with my brother. Uh, this guy. But he's not my actual brother in real life, you know. I couldn't speak because I was Welsh, but and then mostly casualties got like English actors, right? So I couldn't speak because you know it'd be weird. Me who's Welsh, and then my brother and my mother who speak the English, so it would just be 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 a total mess, I think. But obviously I didn't mind that, you know. And then um, because with my chest, I have a thing called pectus. Excavating thing, or just mostly like a concave chest, so my chest kind of like ribs in, it like kind of makes like a hole, so it like scoops in really low. But I could do like party tricks, and that was good. And then, um, you know, loads of people know I have, and they were like so surprised when they first found out. So basically, it was kind of hard to try and you know replicate that because it, it, took, it took ages basically because it was like a stone, it was like a stone thing in my heart. Like, do you know when you have. Uh, buildings and then you have like metal rods to kind of kind of uh, build it up to like, keep it stable it was kind of like that but except it was mini and it was around like a um, like a little I'll explain this um, like a little field but with things lying around so kind of like wasteland or whatever type of this but it was not it was on like green grass and all that so basically what happened is I would f I would fall right over, and then the thing, it was on the floor, and then it'd be stuck in my chest, like, the amount of pressure that I got together, it'd be stuck in my chest, and, yeah, and then there'd be a scene where it'd be, like, later on in the evening, but it was cold, it was, like, raining, but it was cold at the same time, so there's me, with, with completely nothing on from, from the waist up, but it's in the freezing cold well it's windy and rain coming down so it's kind of kind of hard a little bit for that but yeah there was some parts where I'd shiver like because it was that cold but then after takes people like people like the crew was nice they come in and ramp wrap me up in blankets <laughs> got the wrong one and they just wrap me up in blankets and um yeah, it just keep me cold while they tried to do different types of stuff. But then with the surgical stuff, it'd be like dummies and all that. Basically, it's not real. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's how I mostly go into acting. I mean, it took a couple of years for me to get into it properly because of stage school and stuff. And, um, shout out to a girl who, uh, took, like, let me know about acting about her career, I just that was a good 
path for me to go down in me even though I've got ADHD you know I, 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 I'm surprised how I'm actually able to act and just concentrate on something that's so so professional <laughs> watching and um this is my first story time video so uh okay